Hi everyone. So we are starting another lecture in our sociology current series. Today we will discuss sociological impact of artificial intelligence and it will be part of technology and social change will be important for both sociology paper one and paper two. So first of all, what is AI? So it is defined as the ability to make computers do things that would require intelligence if done by humans. So it's just imitating the human intelligence of learning, thinking, processing on their own. Okay. Now we have to analyze it sociologically for thus for us, what is AI's technical things and how it works and what, uh, how the technology will uh, impact things economically, etc., that we will not go deep into. We will keep things sociological. The widespread adoption of automation and AI system is likely to lead to a significant change in the distribution of wealth and power. First thing is this. Okay, We will delve deep into it, how it will do in the later slides. It will potentially enhance existing social class divides and AI algorithms are considered powerful social institutions. This keyword you have to use powerful social institutions due to their widespread use in social uh, sorting, profiling, recommendations and decision making process. Now AI is everywhere. The first and foremost example is your mobile. So whatever you will search, it will showcase uh, the similar things to you. If you have some app, it will showcase similar ads in while you are using Instagram, YouTube or any other thing. So it's listening. This is the thing. It is applying the intelligence, your uh, uh, refrigerator. Now that too has uh, artificial intelligence capability. Now we will try to analyze AI through different lenses, through different sociological perspective. So one of the most uh, important critical perspective of AI is Marxist perspective. It says that uh, at the end of all of these proletariat will suffer. How? There will be heightened competition because of the, the introduction of AI. Then because of heightened competition, uh, as uh, machines will take a lot of things which humans are doing, there will be curtail in wages. There will be layouts which is happening. It will further downgrade living condition of uh, people who are working. And then middle class will become polarized towards proletariat. Okay, So this was the, uh, the concept of uh, Karl Marx all about now. Polarization of classes towards bourgeois and proletariat. Okay, Further, it will enhance the class divide because the implementation of AI technologies uh, will widen the, the wealth of bourgeoisie class and the proletariat because bourgeoisie will amass a lot of profit. However, proletariat will be at the end of, uh, at, at another end where they will be fighting for their jobs. This is what Marxist perspective is telling. Also, AI uh, will create monopoly at workplace and may further create alienation. These all processes may lead to the formation of industrial reserve army, displacing workers and increasing unemployment. This is the Marxist perspective. Now we will see another perspective that what social changes can be driven by AI. So AI will lead to significant social and economic changes, influencing how things function and how institutions works, it will impact every institution in the coming time. As it is influencing day-to-day -day life, as the machines are becoming air-driven, I had given you example, uh, may provide comfort in short run, but will create dependency in long run on AI giants. Okay, like we have become dependent on uh, mobiles and social media companies. Social media companies are now dictating everything. Your style of uh, 
attire your clothing your uh, where you want to visit everything is just influenced by algorithm and who is deciding the algorithm the uh, tech giants big fours they are deciding the everything they are uh, uh, they are not only impacting uh, your lifestyle they are impacting politics they are impacting uh, the general social setting everything is getting impacted by them so it can be extremely dangerous as well if you think that just four companies are deciding everything what will happen across the world the third thing is elderly will feel further alienated and worthless because they will not be able to cope up with this fast changes that will be driven by ai however this could be also utilized for elderly care if government ngo and corporates all come together and the ai become an empathetic ai there is a phenomenological perspective on ai so uh, it says that despite ai's capabilities ai lacks the human ability to understand context of particular thing so this highlights the distinction between machine efficiency and human intelligence so the gap between ai's pattern recognition and human contextual understanding emphasizes the unique aspect of human cognition they were uh, uh, stressing always on the context of a particular thing if a particular behavior is happening what is the context of that and it can differ even in same setting there can be different uh, interpretation of it okay and that ai is still not capable of okay now we will see the feminist perspective on ai so because of the lack of female representation in ai scientists there is a dearth of uh, ai scientist uh, uh, in in the big companies whether it is uh, in nvidia or whether it is uh, uh, the uh, google or uh, the the chat gpt and all all this uh, you do not have much representation of females okay potentially making it a tool for perpetuating patriarchy the under representation of women in ai development uh, it is also dividing ai to be uh, diverse okay and inclusive the use of ai for creating fake obscene pictures videos and of girls and celebrities disproportionately affecting females raising serious ethical concerns so this is the feminist perspective then we will see at a global level the dependency theory so it will further exacerbate or enhance the dependency of the underdeveloped countries on developed world already all the data was with the uh, these big giants they are having all the information about us they know more than our government uh, know about us so already there was no privacy now the recent reports is that uh the incognito uh, searches that you do they are maintaining a huge record for it so already a privacy is a myth now it will further exacerbate this difference because only two three countries are leading in everything and the every other uh, country are not able to cope up and the technology is being monopolized so the widespread use of ai would contribute to the emergence of dictatorship of the algorithm and this is happening the algorithm will dictate everything so it is something which can be monstrous in the coming time where decision making power is concentrated in the hands of those who control the ai system and the focus of ai is uh, narrow so narrow ai system that performs specific tasks more efficiently than humans could potentially lead to a small group of elites controlling the algorithm that shape our world and that is always not good when the things are not inclusive already the uh, technology when when the technology came since uh, 200 years it was always uh, non equal and when the developing countries started catching up such technologies will further create the dependency on the the developed countries now what what should be the way ahead should we shun this technology no the time has come that uh, world over there should be a regulation there should be as niti ayog has suggested there should be uh, principles of responsible artificial intelligence 
and there should be at national level a council for ethics and technology to guide the ethical design development and deployment of ai in india not only in india world over there should be a cooperation and ethical and inclusive ai should be the way forward with proper regulation on its monopoly and misuse then this technology will be beneficial for the entire world otherwise it will further create dependency non inclusivity and dictatorship of algorithm thank you very much take care best wishes